Hello, long time no see. Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. In my usual unpredictable tradition, I have taken a bit of a break from recording, uh, but I'm back and uh, we're going to do a little Gron the Earth Elemental listing. Um, I've taken the liberty of cleaning up my, my uh, old characters. I've left the compatible ones. Um, there were quite a few there, so now I have the opportunity to reuse some of my better names. Um, but let's continue with Gron. I'm not sure where we left off. I haven't played this in quite a while, so let's just take a look at what we have here. We have Shadow, uh, Shatter, Sticky Flame, Dig, Swiftness, no Blink, but we're looking pretty good in the spell department. That's not bad. I do seem to remember that Gron was lacking something. Let's drop these rotten chunks. What was it? Was it scrolls? No identify scrolls? No identify scrolls. Okay. How are we doing on rings? We have a protection from magic and protection from fire. That's not the best complement of rings. Let's try this one out. We don't know what it is. Hmm. We better stick with what we had then. Um, we have no books in hand. We probably have a stash somewhere. Oops. Let's see. It looks to be Lair 2 and Lair 1. Or in Temple we have something as well. But that's probably just our basic book of uh, Geomancy. Let's drop the Wand of Magic darts and uh, check out the dungeon overview. We've done one level of Elf, all of the Lair, oh, and we haven't completed the Orcish Mines. So let's hope we find something down on the fourth level. Uh, let's just check out our training. We're training shields. We got ourselves a buckler recently, I suppose. And it looks like we're more or less in business. Uh, spell failure for Iron Shot. Still a little bit of hunger associated with it. And the power needs to go up quite a bit. Uh, our Earth training needs to go up, especially for Shatter. I think that's pretty much the goal of this run, is to get uh, Shatter up and running. I love Shatter. Um, I've only really experimented with it once. And I got a little carried away. I got killed in the vaults. Um, we better head back up. What armor are we wearing? Uh, poison resistance. That's a good one. Okay. Yes, well, yeah, I got Shatter up and running, and I, I got a little crazy with it. I went into the vaults and uh, basically took the vaults apart really quickly and easily with Shatter. Um, but I got a little overzealous and uh, died foolishly. What did I say? Yet another stupid death. Okay, well, perhaps the stores in the Orcish Mines will prove to be useful. Use the old petrified trick there. We had better start heading back towards the stairs. Um, let's take a chance. Ooh, that didn't hurt him at all. Uh, perhaps an iron shot will take him down. Wow, he's tough. I'm going to drag him upstairs. Do we have any invocations? We have a, a bit, so we can channel mana. Not incredibly effectively, but not terribly. Aha. Uh -huh. And what staff are we using here? If it's a Staff of Earth, I'll be happy. A uh, Staff of Energy, so that will reduce our spell hunger. Ah, oh, we missed with the Iron Shot. Again, we missed with the Iron Shot. Come on. Let's channel. Uh, let's just try Stone Arrow. That did nothing. Come on, hit him. There we go. That was one tough orc. Let's just take a look here. Um, I'd like to get invocations up a little bit. 
if I can find a staff of earth, I might try and evocations up. It becomes a very effective um, melee weapon. I'm going to turn shields off at one here. Spell casting back on. And I think we'll start training fighting. That should be good for now. Back down we go. Combination of iron shot and stone arrows. And they are taken care of. And we're completely surrounded by orcs. Let's just start firing away. Um, we can risk one iron shot on the big guy and get back upstairs. Okay, we have a beachhead. Do we have repel missiles? Yes, we do. No problem there. So I have trained air magic up a little bit, just checking on repel missiles here. Charms is up a, a good bit. We could probably get haste online. I wouldn't mind trickling into stealth. That's always fairly useful. And we're going to accentuate fighting and earth magic for a little bit. Maybe I'm playing around with training a little too much, but okay, we're getting smitten here. Um, no problem. Took a little bit of damage, but not too much. We're running a little low on mana here, but we managed to fight them all off. Uh oh. Okay, we've got almost a full complement of mana. I have to remember we have Sticky Flame available. We are immediately going to put on Repel Missiles. Nessos fires poison arrows that usually have fire associated with them, and he fires them rapidly. He does a lot of damage. Luckily, I have a buckler and some relatively moderate armor. So I think I can spare a couple turns without being killed. Um, we are going to hit him with a an iron shot immediately. That took him down to about half health, and he did no damage on us. Our repel missiles worked beautifully. One more. And he is almost dead. I believe we can finish him off with a, a simple stone arrow. There we go. That may have looked fairly easy, but Nessos is a killer. He blinks around, and uh, if you do not have any means of countering his arrows, you can be killed. I'm just looking for some food here. Uh, nothing is presenting itself, so we'll eat some perma food, which we do not have a lot of. Um, let's just do a search for the dungeon for food. Maybe I made a stash, I did. There's a lot of bread rations on layer two. Okay, continuing on then. There's a lonely altar to Okuraru there. Um, let's do the old petrify trick. We'll get the, uh, oh, that didn't work. I'm going to iron shot the big guy, stone arrow the small guy. And it didn't prove too difficult to fight those guys off. Do we have a magic mapping? We do not. Hmm, our first shop. Disintegration, digging, draining, frost, fire. Teleportation might be something worth buying. I don't think I have a wand of teleportation. I don't. Do we have an enchant armor? Mm, we don't. Okay. Might be worthwhile switching to that troll hide um, eventually. I love playing an earth elementalist. They're definitely one of my favorite classes. And in my hi hiatus from making videos, I, I haven't been playing very much, so I am a little bit out of practice. Um, but I've taken a radical departure from my usual 
playstyle, um, and I'll probably attempt to make a video featuring my new class combination. I'm just considering what to do here. I think I'm going to try and let's hit this guy. He's the only one that really sees me. I'm going to try and uh, petrify him. And then we're going to rapidly deconstruct him. Okay. We're going to hit another rapid deconstruction here. We got a gift at probably the worst time possible. I'm going to spend a turn to pick it up. I think I got drained and uh, that killed the orc priest in front of me. I'm going to finish that guy off. Oops, we missed. We have to back off. This is not good. One more. A rapid deconstruction here. Hopefully that took them out. Okay. Uh, we're going to put on repel missiles. We're going to take one turn to put on swiftness. And we're going to get out of here as soon as possible. Do we have regeneration? We don't. That's okay. Swiftness saves the day there. Uh, yeah. They're starting to summon up demons. Let's just climb upstairs. I probably shouldn't have walked blindly into the inner sanctum like that. Again, when I play and I'm not recording, I don't tend to play very well. I, I do things like that, which is uh, just a lack of focus, sort of. So I shall try to be on my best behavior as I'm recording here. I'd like to get this character fairly far. I'd like to finish the game. And again, I did something stupid. I stepped right into the... Uh, okay, we're getting out of here. Swiftness on. I should not even approach that place without swiftness on. Um, let's take out the priest and get out of here. What is that thing? Chaos spawn, a being of pure chaos. Its form is constantly shifting, growing, and then losing eyes, mouths, claws, tentacles. It corrupts everything it touches. It is summoned. Okay. Let's just climb upstairs and get away from that thing. No sense in wasting man on it. And we have something small to eat. We'll eat an apple and back down. Deconstruct the wall twice, and he's dead. Another deconstruction. It's probably my most powerful spell at the moment. And it's only five mana. That is one of the downsides of being an Earth Elementalist. You don't have a lot of options. Uh, well, basically the, the cloud spells are off limits to you. Because of your lack of air. So you're not going to be casting um, Poison Cloud or uh, Cloud of Cold, what's it called again? The only thing you have is Rapid Deconstruction, which actually does a very good job, and it's only 5 mana. You just need a wall. Okay, Swiftness on. I'm not sure if that guy's damage that orc knight okay let's just get out of here when they start summoning demons there's absolutely no sense in fighting them off iron shot the ogre and up we go can we eat the ogre yes we can oh just as we cut it up. Just as we cut it up, a demon and an orc sorcerer appear. An exceptionally competent orcish wizard in league with hellish and catonic 
forces, motivated by the purest imaginable strain of malevolence. Katonic, I guess that is in reference to Cthulhu, I suppose. Uh, yeah, what happened there? That soul eater is no good. I don't know what that does. Well, it damaged us 20 points. I guess it's almost like a smite. Alright, back up. Get away from that soul eater. He's probably gone by now. He is. Can we eat the orc corpse? We can. Deconstruction. Did that kill him? No. He's around somewhere. Oh, for God's sakes. Die. Iron Devil. These guys are slow. Um, they're very tough. But I'm not too worried about it because I can outrun them without swiftness. And whatever armor that guy is wearing, it is completely nullifying my attack. I'm going to let him get close and iron shot him, see if that helps. It does. Stone arrow twice, and he's down. And I'll take the time to cut him up and eat him, which of course gives me nausea. We want into those shops. And it looks like we have cleaned out the inner sanctum. That was pretty easy. A glowing ring mail. If it was a glowing elven ring mail, I'd be very happy. You can find branded elven ring mail, but it is fairly rare. Hmm. Is there a cure mutation there? No, there wasn't. A book of minor magic. An elven ring mail. A scroll of identity. Well, we're going to buy the identity. Uh, two identities. And the book of minor magic. We are getting the book of minor magic, of course, for Blink. Handbook of Jolly Lies. <laughs> I don't think there's much we need here, but we'll we'll take a, a a perusal through these books. No. Summonings. Yes, I want summonings. Uh, wizardry. Yes, I want wizardry rather than summonings, and it's a lot cheaper. And it has two spells I want rather than just one. So we'll pick that up. It's not a lot of money. Sif is going to give me these books eventually, but God knows when they're going to come. Um, what I do want to memorize here is Summon Elemental. And... Uh, let's just put on summonings. Uh, I don't like training five schools, but... It'll be okay for now. We want summonings up to about five or six, and that's all we're going to need. Um, we want spell casting up as well. We only have two spell levels left. Now we're only on experience level 14, but uh, we, so we should get more spell levels with uh, with leveling. Okay, I'm sure we've missed some bits in the Orcish Mine, so we'll head up a staircase we haven't explored yet. Stone arrow these guys. Iron shots and stone arrow. And we'll just bash him. We do have dig, don't we? Yeah. There's got to be another section here. Let's see what we can find. I have a bottle of plum brandy sitting on my shelf. 
and I might pause the video and get into it a little bit just to loosen me up but I am saving it for Saturday night I also have several micro brewed beers in the fridge but I ate an apple and my hunger status didn't change did it? Well, we'll eat a bread ration um, and we'll head back to the good old stash. Uh, but beer and dungeon crawl stone soup, I think, are a poor combination. Oh, I have not been down there. Okay. I think it's just a fairly boring orcish mines. Back to the stash. Let's examine what we have already collected in the dungeon. Another one, you guys. Okay, where did we put our stash? You know, sometimes you get uh, oh, party tricks. I would really like uh, summon butterflies too, but we can, we could pick that up. How did I not see that? Okay, we're going back for it. Summon butterflies is a lifesaver sometimes. Sorry. Okay, little pause there. How did I not see party tricks? This book is invaluable. Just for summon butterflies and blink, of course. I don't have the spell levels. Blink is going to be memorized immediately next. Um, but I think I have that minor magic and I just bought that, which was kind of foolish, waste of money. But money's not that useful in this game. Though you never know when you're going to need it. Now the question is where to head next. I don't believe we have any poison resistance, do we? No. We actually have fairly crappy rings. Where's the stash? Oh, we do have elven ring mail. I'm glad I didn't... Uh, plus two elven ring mail. I'm glad I didn't buy the, uh, the other one. We have some unidentified potions, but we only have two scrolls of identify. Huh. Let's just quaff it, see what happens. Potion of speed, okay. Now, our choices are shoals. Which I always seem to roll the shoals. It's a very painful branch for me. And without fly, I'm not willing to go there right now. Spider. Well, I can't really go there without poison resistance. Um, let's just check our ring pile here and now we don't have poison resistance. Um, we do, however, have an unidentified ring which we will blow an identify scroll on. Life protection. What do you know? Great. Thanks. Random number god. We now have no choice but to continue further down into the dungeon. And I believe we do not have sea invisible, so Unseen horrors are going to be a concern. Okay, stealth is five. That can go off for a little bit. Um, fighting can even go off. And we're going to get summonings. You know what? Everything can go off except summonings. And let's just get that up to level, uh, level six as soon as possible and then I'll never have to turn it on again. 
Iron Shot followed by a Stone Arrow, and that brought our summonings up. Now at any time we're going to run into an Unseen Horror. Repel Missiles... on. Yeah, I knew there was going to be more. I love splattering those guys. Uh, so what we have to do... Another protection from fire, thanks. What we have to do is, is pay attention to the messages. Because quite often I won't notice that I'm being attacked by an unseen horror. Especially if I'm in another fight, and that's a very dangerous thing. There are, however, some good tricks, and thanks to uh, somebody in the comments section, I think I've mentioned this before, that recommended that I use a scroll of fog. Okay. We are going to focus on the Hydra, that looks like a big one, an eight-headed Hydra. And he's down. How's our summonings doing? 3.1. We'll rapidly deconstruct the sorcerer, or the priest, sorry. Yeah, just rapidly deconstruct all of them. Hungry Ghost has good evasion. Took three stone arrows to get him. Troll does not have good evasion. Stone Arrow the Manticore down. There we go. Eat some Jackal Meats. Oh, actually. A ring. Excellent. Plus six Ring of Protection. Okay, that's worth wearing. What we're really looking for is poison resistance and sea invisible would be nice as well. What's with all the small dungeon levels? This has been a very strange rule. At least no unseen horrors have cropped up. Ow. Okay. Word to self, do not engage those guys in melee combat. Uh, we're going to have to eat something. We'll make it the meat ration. I've got enough perma food to limp back to the lair if I have to. I should have picked up some more food when I was there, but... Okay, sarah, sarah. <clears throat> 4.6. We're almost there. Aha, uh -huh. vampire mosquitoes. I hate these guys. They usually come in packs of three, so I'm expecting another one. Okay, we've got bees, and we've got yaks, and I want to get that scroll. And that's fine, we can use our rapid deconstruction here. The good thing about rapidly deconstructing petrified enemies is that even if there's a monster behind a wall, let's say there was a wall here and there was a monster there, uh, it will go through the wall. So it's a very viable technique for uh, crowd control. Also saves quite a bit on mana. We'll try it again here. Let me get a little closer. Ah, it's okay. It's only a snake. Uh, Try and back off. We must target that slime. God knows what he's going to eat. Okay, vampire. We're going to get back upstairs. Vampire's gone invisible. We're going to go back upstairs and hope to catch him when he's visible. They have very high evasion. I'm going to try and get him with an iron shot. Missed. Good. Got him. Do we have... 
Uh, it must have been the last game I was playing. I could have sworn I had enemy dead, but I don't need it very soon. Right now, I, I don't need it. Because now, with any wall, we can summon up a friendly earth elemental. The only problem with these guys is they're very slow. However, they're also very tough, and let's demonstrate that here. We got three of them. Now, I don't want to use them too much, but they're handy to have around. Auto pickup was off. They're even more handy to have around with recall. Uh, have I found recall? I haven't. Okay, there's our enchant armor. Um, we're going to blow that immediately on the troll hide. Wait a second. What am I thinking? I don't need resist poison. I have the resist poison elven armor. All right. We should pay attention to what we're doing or else we're going to die. Uh, let's just clear up this floor and then head to the snake pit then. As you can see, I am a little bit out of practice because I've been playing my radical new style of dungeon crawl. I'm pretty stubborn about wanting to finish something before I start something else. So I really want to finish the game as a uh, pure caster. However, I have been having a lot of fun um, playing something different. And I suppose it does help your game in a way because you can't just go on autopilot. Um, we're going to use the petrify trick here. Step back. And one more turn should do it. Oops. Okay, this is bad. I hate being in nets, but we're going to rapidly deconstruct first. And that killed them all. And these guys will just stone arrow down. Are we at six yet? Off. Spellcasting on. Earth magic on. Fighting back on. Get fighting up to about ten. 72 hit points is not great. I mean, it's not bad. Ooh, crystal quarter staff. Let's just see what that is. Oh, come on. I can't wield that with a shield? Okay. Just in the interest of seeing what it is. Do we have any extra identify scrolls? Yeah, we started to pick some up. So let's blow one on this potion, cure mutation. That's good, we're not mutated, are we? Only have a positive dexterity mutation. And we're gonna read this unknown scroll, holy word. And this one, please be acquirements, no. Um, now we're gonna read the remove curse. One more identify and we're going to blow it on that crystal quarter stuff. Uh, it's a resist poison, slay orc. It's got good numbers on it. But it is thoroughly unnecessary. Unless it... Oh, I've got a wand of heal wounds. Excellent. I am immediately going to blow this recharging scroll on it. I believe we saw some more recharging in a shop somewhere. And now we have nine charges. Okay, things are looking up. I'm glad we took this little dive into the dungeon. I hope we don't run into... Do we have a scroll of fog? Yes, we do. Okay. So we're okay if we run into a uh, invisible horror. One invisible horror we can handle. Several we cannot. But it looks like luck is with us. Um, it's unusual to get to dungeon level 12 and not run into an invisible horror yet. So let's go... Well, speaking of invisible... Sky Beast is down. Let's go back to the lair and back to our stash. Eat the knoll. Uh, just re deconstruction should do it here. How are our spells doing? 
De uh, Lee's rapid deconstruction is extremely powerful when it gets to be full powered. It is not full powered yet, but it's close. A sticky flame is something I have neglected to use so far. I really should use it, but we're starting to get quite a few tools in our tool bag here. Things are looking better than when I had last stopped the video. I've got some identify scrolls now. Okay, guys, jeez. Up we go. There's the stash. Let's get back there. Okay. No, we don't need this crystal. It's a quarter staff. So it looks like our next stop is going to be. We'll drop the troll leather armor here. The next stop is going to be the snake pit for sure. We'll drop the uh, cure mutation here. We don't want to lose that. I don't need the blood. And we can probably get rid of a few of these rings. Protection from fire. Uh, ring of ice. We'll keep that in case we need protection from ice. Ring of flight. We'll keep that in case we absolutely have to fly. And uh, we can drop 20 stones. We'll keep a few. We'll also drop this ro uh, this robe of cold resistance and pick up a bit of food. All right, again, sorry for the delay in video production, but uh, I'll be uh, eking out a few videos over the next few days, and uh, we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. As always, have a good night, and bye-bye.